Thank you very much for the extremely warm welcome. Uh, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, allow me first of all to thank you for the confidence that you have placed in me as the sixth president of the United Nations Environmental Assembly. It is really a great honor for me and for my country, the Kingdom of Morocco, to assume this responsibility. It's also an honor for the whole of Africa, and I'll take this opportunity, of course, to thank and pay tribute to all African countries from north to south, from east to west, with all the diversity for their support. My sincere congratulations to you, my predecessor, Your Excellency, Mr. Espen Bart Eide, Minister of Climate and Environment of Norway, for your leadership and stewardship in advancing difficult discussions around all the issues raised under the UNEA agenda. My congratulations also go to all the members of the UNEA 5 Bureau for their efforts throughout their mandate. According to His Excellency Aide, UNEA 5 was the most productive ever. It sets the right expectation for UNEA 6. Uh, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I do not need to remind you of the context in which we are living today and the unfolding environmental crisis we continue to face. We will soon exceed the threshold of irre irreversibility if we do not act now. In fact, recessions, pandemics and wars do not stop the environmental clock and some regions are increasingly more vulnerable than others. In the spirit of continuity and efficiency, we want to consolidate the achievements of our predecessors and to accelerate the implementation of the resolutions already adopted. And I thank you for that. We want to effectively contribute to the achievement of the sustainable development goals that we agreed upon years ago. We together, we will have to do our best to ensure that we translate the resolutions into concrete actions, starting with the ones on plastic pollution and science policy platform on chemicals and waste. The solutions we advocate must be palpable to the citizens of the world, to all the citizens of the world, as their right to a sustainable environment. I will spare no effort to work with all regions to consolidate UNIA's authority as the institution setting the global environmental agenda. I will spare no effort to work with you to leverage synergies and integration between multilateral environmental agreements. In addition to efficiency, the key to our success is in the partnerships we will succeed in forging between governments, with private sector, with civil society. Also, multilateral cooperation and international solidarity are still critical, and they must be revitalized to become once again the engines of ch the change that we want. I am counting on your continuous support and hope that together we can build back the world that we want to leave to our children. Thank you very much.